This is my 1975 Honda CB404 Super Sport. This was the last piece in my Honda collection in order to complete the five four-cylinder Hondas from the early 70s. I've always considered the 400 my favorite out of the bunch for a couple of different reasons, but the biggest reason was because of the looks of the bike. And <laughs> um, this bike doesn't look like how it's supposed to. Let's talk about it. In 1969, Honda came out with CB750. CB750 was an instant success, one of the best-selling motorcycles that Honda had, and the first ever superbike. Honda had been making the 450 twin for a number of years before the 754 cylinder, but when the four cylinder came out, it changed the game, and Honda wanted to keep branching off of that success. They made the 500, which was pretty successful but people considered it super slow because of the 750 and people really wanted the larger more horsepower variants of machines back then no one really wanted a smaller bike but they made the 350 which was a four cylinder the 500 which was the four cylinder the 550 followed the 500 which is basically the exact same bike with minor cosmetic differences and the motor just having a little bit more displacement but the 350 wasn't a good success there was a 350 twin which sold pretty good but the 354 cylinder was a small four cylinder that was expensive that people didn't want. So they canned it in 74 after only three years of production. Then came out this, the 404. After failing to sell a small four-cylinder, they made another small four-cylinder, which tried to make it a little bit more sporty, and it failed. Again, people just wanted bigger bikes at the time, for the price especially. This bike out of its 408cc four-cylinder motor made a whopping 37 horsepower. Honda just didn't have the success like they did with the 750 with the smaller four-cylinders, but they still sold them in the tens of thousands, which for Honda is poor sales. In 1975, they came out with the CB750 Super Sport, and they came out with the 400 Super Sport, which had a 4 into 1 exhaust in it, which was a big thing back then. The 350 looked like the 750 from previous years, and then when they made the Super Sport in 75 for the 750 model, they followed suit with the 400, 4 into 1 exhaust, different tank style, the dashboard on the bike was a little different and kind of made a triangle instead of like the rectangular look that they had, the bigger indicators, and a few other stylistic elements that they stole. This one does not have a disc brake in the rear, which the 750 actually got in 75, but it still has the drum in the rear, disc in the front, because it's only a 400cc bike. Although this is a 400, it still has four carburetors, and this actually has a six-speed gearbox. Yeah, this has a six-speed. Now let me talk about my bike and why it looks like this, why it's in this sorry state. This bike was turned into a cafe racer, and a poorly done cafe racer at that. I would say most cafe racer builds are poorly done. Unfortunately, this is one of them, but luckily the frame has not been chopped, and it's missing very, very few things in order to make it whole again. Now obviously this seat is wrong, the fenders are wrong, that rear Muffler is wrong, but I believe the header is correct. The side cover is wrong. The paint on the tank is wrong. And, well, that's pretty much where it ends. There's a couple of other small pieces that it probably will need to be replaced or that are just missing, like the handlebars just look a little off. The switches on the right side are a little chewed up and probably going to need to be replaced. Luckily, I have some sitting in the side because... I misordered them from my CP750 and they use the same stuff. Now I believe the previous previous owner did most of this stuff. The previous owner brought this bike to learn on but he never ended up learning on it because he was on the east coast while this bike was in Arkansas. We bought this bike from Arkansas, brought it up to Wisconsin. I actually bought this bike a while ago but this is the first time I'm seeing it because it lived in Oklahoma for a little bit. Long story. These are supposed to be chrome. This is supposed to be a different color of red and if you can't tell there's a Honda decal here, but it's actually supposed to say Honda in words and say Super Sport underneath it. The seat is wrong, but it does have a Cafe Racer style seat that actually goes on it because Honda did a fantastic job developing and making this bike look very minimalistic and kind of Cafe Racer-ish. Now there's supposed to be a big rear taillight that sticks out of it with, I believe it had red indicators, so I'm going to have to source indicators, I believe. I do have the taillight, the license plate frame is wrong, which actually goes on the taillight, and the side covers are actually supposed to be black because this is a Super Sport, and I believe it says 400 Super Sport on it, or it says 404 on it. I don't know, I'd have to look. Um, this is the first time I ever bought one, so... I need to dive into the exact details. The CB750 Super Sport says 754 on it, 
and it doesn't say Super Sport on the side covers, but they are black, just like these are supposed to be. Overall, the bike is in fair condition, but it's going to need a little bit of love mechanically and cosmetically at the same time. But for the price I got it for, for the work it needs, it really isn't too bad because these bikes are pretty hard to find. There's just something I love so much about the styling and the size. Even though I love the CB750, I think this one rivals it pretty good. I'm probably going to have to source new side covers and new fenders for the bike and we'll repaint the tank along with a couple of other tanks that need to be repainted. We'll probably give the motor a little cleanup, maybe put a new chain on it, update the sprocket, the brakes flush them out, might need a brake rebuild probably in the front. The drum in the back is probably fine, but the biggest thing is it's going to need carburetors cleaned and it should run fine theoretically. That muffler looks like it's blown up on the inside. It looks like a Honda muffler doesn't have any snapping on it. I know it's not original for this bike, but I think at some point it came off of a CB450. Maybe. Overall, I mean, it's a small little bike and it does fire up, so I'm gonna fire it up for you guys. The bike can need its carburetors cleaned, but we did put new spark plugs in it and it did fire up and it sounded pretty good, but we realized that it was only running on two and a half fish cylinders. It fires right up which is kind of weird. Take, turn the choke off. But it's spinning mystery liquid out of uh, the muffler right here, which looks like oil, but I don't know why there would be oil. This is gonna need to be cleaned up. This muffler is bad. There's a huge hole here. There's probably a ton of carbon built up inside of it. Just give it a little once over. The bike does run. I mean, it pops into life so easily, so. I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. My CB750 Super Sport, I'm still trying to source parts for. It's gonna be the same story with this bike for a little bit other than cleaning the carbs out. Um, it's gonna take a while to source some of the parts unless I wanna pay absolute top dollar for them, which I don't really wanna do. So patience and I should be able to find most of the stuff and a couple of parts I've already found, but uh, they're on back order, so. Yeah, fun. This bike and the 750. That's all I have for the video. If you guys enjoy the CB400, any tips you guys have on them, if you do own them, leave them down in the comment section down below. If you enjoy the video, leave a like. If you're excited to see more on this bike, leave a like. I'm trying to do some of the other bikes before I do this one, sourcing parts for all of them at the same time. Yeah, it's fun, but also a little time consuming when there's a lot of bikes. But with this bike coming back from down south, my Yamaha XS650 is also back home, and the bike is torn apart right now. More to come on that bike in the near future. That's all I have for this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.